on the ANCAP wiki, anarcho-capitalism is a political philosophy that advocates the elimination of the state in favor of individual sovereignty. I am not necessarily someone who strongly opposes the state, nor am a complete lineup of libertarian freedoms, but I do have some standards that would prove otherwise. Here are my three leading points as to whether I count as an ANCAP or not. The first important stance in being a true ANCAP is probably if I fall through with using the non-aggression principles, which is an ethical stance which asserts that aggression is inherently illegitimate. First principles has about eight specific logical derivatives that order back and forth into proving that causing harm to another individual that is either violating their rights, i.e. stealing, or aggressively initiating violence, i.e. murder, cannot be justified and is therefore wrong on a consistent level. I have about a couple issues with the NAP, one being how it would work if the ownership of property was undefined and rendered a paradox in the logical consistency of first principles even being apparent. Another issue I have is the idea that property slash privacy rights is unfair in itself, as one that acquires full ownership of their property and symptoms can enable unwanted crop claiming and violate others' rights without going against the NAP directly. My prime example to this is if you owned land around the perimeter of another owner's land and had control over travel in between the lands that was given privacy terms in your will. Without being an aggressor or initiating harm in a way to directly go against the NAP, you still enable harm to be done to that owner in a passive route as they have no other way to secure their own rights. The best rebuttal to this, however, is one of the NAP disciplines stating that the burden of proof is on the active side, not the passive side. I am not saying that this cannot be resolved. I am simply pointing out that I am not completely confident in the rights that people are given when they follow through with standards to the extent of those like the NAP. An obvious trait of anarcho-capitalism, in my eye, would be to simply state myself as either an anarchist or capitalist from the bottom up. Since I don't exactly oppose the state enough to uh, qualify as an anarchist, nor follow enough counter-economical projects to truly assess capitalism's potential without the government, this is quite the backlash to me being a real account. For example, I don't access gray and black markets to the extent of taking advantage of the counter-economy, and I also don't avoid department aid that is offered to me by the state for my mental disability. My biggest pet peeve with an ANCAP society idealized in the big picture is how private organizations would freely operate without central planning in the way, not only because they can sparsely choose whom to target with products and services, but because they have no obligation to extend their rights of property and privacy to conceal those that desire or need them. Imagine a scenario where multiple privately owned criminal investigation agencies butted heads as to who could take over a forensic assignment, or private mail carriers that argued about having far in between home routes instead of a simple collection of neighborhoods. In conclusion, I have a few holes to fill as I learn how to truly adapt as a potential anarcho-capitalist. I have no doubt that it could one day be something I pursue for more than just the politics concern. But as I long as these issues prevent me from being totally sure that it is the way I want to go, I will meanwhile work with the direction my thoughts and beliefs take me, even if the class is likely to me that is any less than the end cap. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be.